In this session, we will look at all the six functions in trigonometry using a right triangle. Let this be angle theta. This will be the side adjacent to theta. This will be the side opposite to theta. And this is the hypotenuse. We learnt the formulae of the sine, cosine and tangent functions using this right triangle. The code we use to remember the formulae is so ka twa. So tells us that sine theta equals opposite by hypotenuse. Ka tells us that cos theta equals adjacent by hypotenuse. And Tua tells us that tan theta equals opposite by adjacent. Apart from these three functions, there are three more functions we need to understand. Let me warn you beforehand, the names sound scary, very scary. But if you know the formulae of these three functions, they would be really simple. The name of the fourth function is cosecant. The fifth function is secant. And the sixth one is cotangent. There you go. The funniest part about these names is that none of them gives us a slightest hint of what they mean. Take cosecant for example. We know that a secant is a line that intersects the circle at two points. But where is the circle? Where is the line? And where are the two points? Anyway, the cosecant of theta is written as cosec theta. Sometimes it's also written as CSC theta. But we will be using cosec in our videos. The formula is simple. It's the reciprocal of sine theta. Sine theta is opposite by hypotenuse. Cosec theta is hypotenuse by opposite. The secant function is written as sec theta. And guess what? That's the reciprocal of cos theta. Reciprocal of cos theta is hypotenuse by adjacent. The cotangent function is written as cot theta. And yes, the cotangent function is also the reciprocal of the tangent function. So it equals the reciprocal of opposite by adjacent, which is adjacent by opposite. A layman looking at a board would be so confused. A right triangle, some angle, six weird names, a random code? Yes, it's true. That's the reason why people dread studying this topic. The best way to understand this topic would be by understanding the unit circle video. The unit circle video will give you a very good understanding about these three functions. And the remaining three functions are just reciprocals of each of these functions respectively. So remember, cosec is reciprocal of sine, sec is reciprocal of cos and cot is reciprocal of tan. Cotangent reciprocal of tangent is easy to remember as we have the word tangent in both the functions. Remembering that cosec is the reciprocal of sine and sec is the reciprocal of cos might be a bit difficult. It would have probably been easier if s went with s and c went with c. Anyway, just make sure you note that C goes with S and S goes with C. Now let's assume that we are given the value of sine theta. With just this data, will you be able to tell me the values of the other five functions? The answer is yes. But the question is how? To know how, please watch the next video.